Every once in a while, your lawn mortars and it's not out of gas. I can help you with a $5 fix and a new wonder tool. Knock, knock. Who's there? I've had uh, a lot of trouble with my lawn this year, just keeping on top of it. I just cut it last night, you know, and uh, look at it. I mean, I'm standing right now. So uh, I, I did have a lawnmower problem uh, a while back, and I wanted to show you what I did to fix it. Just love lawnmower day. I love it. Off I go. Yeah, baby. Huh. So I check the gas, make sure there's fuel. Yep, well, that's okay. Check the oil, looking nice, right level. Check the air filter just in case, you know, maybe there's a squirrel in it. No, it's pretty clean. I'll just start that baby up again. Start that baby. Just, just start that. Just, just. <laughs> well, it's good for the deltoids. So I've got this idea. Well, maybe it's the spark plug. So that there is a socket wrench. There's the spark plug right at the head of the lawnmower there. Slap the ratchet on it. Love my ratchet. And uh, off you go. The ratchet's great because you don't have to take it off and put it back on every time you make a turn. Love my ratchet. Okay, now that is the number. See that? That's key. That's key. Right there. Right there. Put that in your pocket and take it with you. You might even want to take the manual just for backup because that'll have the number in it too. It's like six different digits and letters and it'll drive you crazy because look at them all. And we're back. So I've also got very proud of this feeler gauge. That you're going to find out how that works in a second. Sadly though, they're blister packed. It's a little hard to, oh, and will she find it? Yes. So there's the new spark plug. And there's the gap at the electrode. That has to be the right distance. That's what the feeler gauge is for. Now you be careful not to cross thread it. Make sure it goes in easily. Then slap the ratchet back on it and give it a quarter to half a turn just to seat it. Beautiful. And slap the boot back on it, that little cap, and safety glasses. And of course the AM FM tunes that I've got on my earphones there. And uh, didn't quite didn't quite plan the, the hat size though. Yeah, forget that. And now let's see if she starts. Choke on. It's a girl. My, my lawnmower's a girl. Oh, she's purring. So the moral of the story is if the lawnmower doesn't go for any of the usual reasons, get yourself a socket wrench and just like uh, take that baby out and check it out. And if it's black like mine was, then that's a pretty good indication that it's kind of crusty. Now the feeler gauges, when you when you go to buy the feeler gauge, there's a billion of them. There's like different kinds and sizes. So just make sure that the number in the manual matches the little numbers on the feeler gauge. And then if you do need to widen it out a little bit, you just simply hook it under there and you just kind of reef on it a bit to widen it out. That's all there is to it, see? Fun, now you know, huh? Sparky.